When Ricardo was 10, he had an accident while jumping over a fence. He didn't notice the thin metal wire on the other side of the fence and it caused him to hit the ground head first. After the accident, he began to lose his sight. At school, he had trouble seeing what the teacher wrote on the chalkboard, so he asked to sit in the front row. After a while, he couldn't even see from there. Finally, the teacher sent him home, saying the school could not teach a blind boy. Ricardo's parents took him to many doctors, but none could help him. They said he would never see again. Ricardo was very sad. He could no longer play soccer, ride a bicycle, or play hide-and-seek with his friends. When he went outside, he could hear his old playmates making fun of him. The boys and girls thought that their jokes were harmless. They didn't know that their words were hurting Ricardo. He felt hopeless. One day, an older cousin invited Ricardo to go to a Pathfinder outing. The cousin was the leader of a Pathfinder club. Ricardo didn't want to go, but his cousin kept insisting, so he finally went. He was surprised that he could participate in many of the Pathfinder activities. His cousin even asked him to help out. Ricardo felt needed. He felt good. A short time later, Ricardo heard a sermon that made him want to give his heart to Jesus. But then trouble struck. At the baptismal class, the teacher asked Ricardo and the others who wanted to be baptized to memorize the Ten Commandments. But Ricardo couldn't read the Bible or the piece of paper with the Ten Commandments that the teacher passed out. He sadly thought that he would not be able to get baptized. At home, his mom encouraged him. God willing, you will get baptized, she said. During the week, his older sister read the Ten Commandments out loud to Ricardo. She read them again and again so he could memorize them. On Friday, everyone who wanted to be baptized gathered at the church. Who will be the first to recite the Ten Commandments? A church elder asked. No one else volunteered, so Ricardo raised his hand. He recited all ten perfectly. The elder was amazed and shook his hand. Turning to the others, he asked, who will recite like Ricardo? The next day on Sabbath, everyone was baptized, including Ricardo. Shortly afterward, he was invited to share the weekly mission story in Sabbath school. When some church members heard, they asked the Sabbath school leader to change his mind. Ricardo can't tell the mission story because he can't read they said. The Sabbath school leader gently touched Ricardo on the shoulder. Do you hear what they are saying? He asked. Ricardo nodded. Show everyone what you are able to do, he said. Prepare to tell the story next Sabbath. Ricardo's sister read the mission story to him from the mission quarterly, and he easily memorized it. On Sabbath, Ricardo told the story from beginning to end. When he finished, loud and astonished amens filled the church. Today, Ricardo is a 25-year-old university student and is preparing to become a pastor. He has led a Pathfinder club for the past two years, and he preaches regularly in churches around Angola. Dozens of people have been baptized after hearing his sermons. Your generous offering will help build a school in Ricardo's hometown of Luanda, Angola. Pray that the work of the school results in others like Ricardo who are eager to teach others about Jesus. Thank you for your support of Mission. <music>